Have you ever wondered about the dynamics of power and discipline in a female-led relationship? Today, we'll delve into the intriguing world of hand spanking and chastity, and how they play crucial roles in maintaining order and respect. A good hand spanking serves as a reminder of the woman's authority in the relationship. It is not about inflicting pain or causing harm, rather it's an act of discipline, a way to correct behaviour and establish boundaries. The man, in this case, submits to the woman's authority, acknowledging her control. This act of submission reinforces the power dynamic, ensuring the man remains respectful and obedient. The act of spanking has a psychological impact as well. It serves as a physical reminder of the woman's authority and the consequences of disobedience. The anticipation of a spanking can be a powerful deterrent, keeping the man in line and reinforcing the power dynamic. It also fosters a sense of trust and intimacy, as the man willingly submits to the woman's authority. Now, let's move on to chastity and semen retention, another tool used to maintain control in a female-led relationship. Chastity is not about denying pleasure, but about controlling it. It's a way for the woman to assert her control over the man's sexual gratification. This can have a profound effect on the man's psyche, making him more attentive and focused on the woman's needs and desires. Semen retention, on the other hand, is a practice that goes hand in hand with chastity. The man refrains from sexual release, which can lead to increased energy levels, sharper focus and heightened sensitivity. This practice can help the man to become more attuned to the woman's needs and desires, making him a more attentive and considerate partner. To summarize, hand spanking and chastity in a female air lead relationship are not about punishment or denial, but about discipline and control. They help to maintain the power dynamic, keep the man in line and foster a sense of trust and intimacy. These practices can also enhance the man's focus and attentiveness, making him a better partner. Remember, every relationship is different and what works for one might not work for another. It's about finding what works best for you and your partner and fostering a relationship built on respect, trust and mutual satisfaction. So explore, communicate, and find your balance. Thank you for joining us on this journey of understanding the dynamics of a female-led relationship. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.